This is the Nemesis 19 Plus, which takes the idea of making a boot out of medical tape to the next level with one of the most spacey looking boots to date. It is, of course, accompanied by a low-cut, lazed-up 19.1 version as well. And today, we're gonna peel back the layers to take a deep dive into the tech of the boots to help you guys figure out if it's a cop or a drop. Just like previous generations of the Nemesis, the 19 Plus here is still made out of tape. And lots of it. It draws inspiration from martial artists and ballet dancers and boxers and other agile athletes who take their feet and lower legs to get support and stability while maintaining their flexibility so they can move with rapid motions all over the place. And that is also the case for this here tension tape upper as the new construction is called. And yes, it does look a little bit weird and spacey when it's just in my hand, but as you can see in my review, it looks a lot cooler when it's on your feet. Now, Adidas have used a woven tape construction, that's nothing new by the way, but where the bands kinda overlay each other to give a very flexible and stretchy construction that seamlessly and very adaptively is going to wrap around your foot, no matter how it is shaped, at least that's what Adidas say. And because the tape is woven so it has a four-way stretch instead of just a two-way stretch, like we saw in the torsion tape from the previous Nemesis boots, it's going to give you a much better, more adaptive and personal fit. Again, at least that's what Adidas hope. But they've also focused on lockdown, which is good because it's really important. And here they've made an internal tape band that sits on the important part of the midfoot and kind of really squeezes it tightly to push it down like a seatbelt on the sole plate to prevent your foot from sliding too much around inside the boot. When you get the boots in hand, you clearly feel and see the stretch on the top part of the boot. But as you look further down, you can see how the tape has been covered in the midfoot and on the toe box by a thin layer of silicone, which is made not only to protect the tape and make the boots more durable, but also to give it a little bit more stability and structural integrity in the midfoot. And finally, of course, also to give the boot a little bit more of a matte, grippy sensation with friction for when you're on the ball. And speaking of being on the ball, Adidas have made the upper construction so that the upper package is basically just the tape on top and then a thin layer of mesh on the inside, meaning that you get a very thin upper providing a super sharp, very crisp sensation on the ball. And combining this with the fact that the 19 Plus here is of course still laceless, you get a very uninterrupted barefoot-like feel when you strike it as well. And the only thing that kind of interrupts you are the seams where the tape has been stitched together. Do you feel it? Yes, you do. Does it matter? Not really. The outsole here is also new and features something Adidas calls the torsion system, but that's probably not what everyone's gonna be talking about. They will talk about the fact that this has a split outsole and that Adi copied it from the Nike Mercurial Vapor 12. And I understand why you think that, but it's actually not the case. No, the split outsole here is inspired by the Predator Mania from 2002, which also had a split outsole. And these little two islands have been set into the world to support radical changes of direction while not losing out on stability. And those are the exact words of Adidas themselves. And that's all fine and dandy. But the big thing with this here torsion system is actually the insole board, which sits on the inside of the sole plate. We can't see it from here, but it's really stiff and basically acts as the spine of the entire sole plate, giving you a very stable, snappy, and responsive sensation when you push off. And this also means that the two outsole islands you can see are nothing more than a visual thing because it's just a thin layer of plastic that sits on the outside of the actual sole, to support and house the studs. Now the studs here, as you can see, are made with conical and elliptical studs with rounded shapes to give you a good rotational maneuverability when you push off. So in other words, the torsion system and the Nemesis 19 Plus is built to change direction. And to be fair, it feels pretty good on the pitch. But this launch is a lot more than just the Nemesis 19 Plus. It looks super spacey, so therefore it's gonna get a lot of attention. But I'm actually just as, if not more excited, about the Nemesis 19.1. 
It is obviously low cut, it has laces, and is made with only three layers of tape crossing each other compared to the four on the 19 plus. But because it has laces, that is going to provide more lockdown. It also doesn't feature the inner tape band acting as a seatbelt on the inside. And for some weird reason, the heel is slightly more padded, providing a slightly tighter, more locked in fit around your heel than in 19 plus. Reminds me a little bit of the heel on the Copa 19.1 as well. But apart from this, the construction, the materials and the idea behind the boot is exactly the same. But which is the boot for you then? Well, if you enjoy a completely uninterrupted touch with a high cut wrapped around your ankle sensation, the 19 plus it is. However, on the other hand, if you want responsiveness and a locked in sensation, you should go for the 19.1 instead. And while both boots have a very solid fit, they are a little bit stiff at first, so they do need some breaking time in order to soften up properly. But if you enjoy feeling on your toes and having a super sharp touch on the ball, they're both very decent options. And no matter which of them you prefer, you can buy them exclusively from our store if you click the link right over there. What you can also do is go to subscribe to the Unisport Live family by clicking the button over there with the notifications on to see all the latest videos every time a new boot release drops. And finally, you can go and learn some very awesome skills if you click the playlist right down there. With that said, guys, I'm signing off. Cheerio.